Welcome to the Cuyahoga County Soldiers and Sailors Monument. My name is Ted Prassey, and I have the privilege of being president of the volunteer commission that's responsible for this monument and telling its story. We're here today to make an announcement, an announcement of a going and of a coming. After more than 12 years as our executive director, Tim Daly has decided to retire. Uh, both he and his wife, Mary Louise, will be greatly missed. The coming we have to announce is we've selected a new executive director. His name is Greg Palumba. And I look forward to you coming down and meeting with him. Right now, let me introduce Tim Daly. As I prepare to retire as the executive director of the Cuyahoga County Soldiers and Sailors Monument, I think it is appropriate for me to reflect upon my endeavors here not only for the 12 and a half years that I have served as executive director, but also the preceding years since 2002, when my wife and I started as docent and program leaders here at the monument. Little did we know back in 2002, when we first attended an informational meeting regarding the monument, hosted by the then president, Neil Evans, at the Cleveland Skating Club, just where this journey would take us. I remember sitting there listening to Neil's vision of restoring the monument to its former splendor and that we would be raising $1.5 million to do so. At that time, I looked at him as if he had three heads and many in attendance questioned the ability to achieve such a goal. Thus started my journey with the monument, first as a volunteer docent and then a program leader, along with my wife, Mary Louise. We enjoyed the challenge of making the monument relevant and of finding ways to bring the public in this is when our idea of the hugely popular tunnel tours was developed and executed. The Cleveland's Orchestra annual 4th of July concert held on the square was always a huge event for us, and as well as the hosting of Santa during the Winterfest activities. As the monument's renovation campaign gained traction and public awareness increased, the commission realized there was a need for a full-time paid executive director in the early part of 2008, they hired my predecessor, who left in August of that year. I was fortunate to be offered the position in September of 2008, and with my wife's permission and support, I left my position at the Cleveland Municipal Clerk of Court's office to come to the monument as its executive director. Since 2008, I have never worked a day in my life. As I was fortunate to be given the opportunity of living my true life's vocation, that of a historian. I still remember on my third or fourth day as executive director, I had to attend a budget meeting with the county, and I was there informed that the monument's budget was about to be slashed by five or seven percent, and that I had two weeks to develop the reduction plan. It was then decided that we would redesign our gardens, and all of a sudden I was laying out flower beds and counting petunias. This was my welcome to the county moment. This is how my tenure as executive director began and has been a unique experience ever since. Throughout the past 12 and a half years, the monument has become a living, breathing part of Cleveland in general and Public Square in particular. We have developed and supported many unique programs such as Descendants Day, Veterans Day, Christmas at the Monument, and most importantly, the reestablishment of our traditional Decoration Day or Memorial Day observance on May 30th in accordance to General Logan's General Order No. 11 of the Grand Armory of the Republic. It is through such activities and observances that we are able to keep the monument relevant to our modern day visitors and appropriately honor the memory of our 9,000 men. Such efforts would not have been possible without the support and guidance of the Monument Commission under the direction of our President, Ted Prassey. I thank them for their trust and confidence in the vision which I put forth for this wonderful Victorian jewel that lies in the heart of Cleveland. A leader is only successful if those whom he leads support such a vision as well. All that we have accomplished has been a direct result of our faithful and dedicated volunteers and staff. I wish to thank and acknowledge former staff members, Bill Tyler and Tim Leslie, and our current staff members, Shane Doyle, Rachel Zimble, and Tommy Salmon. Without their support and dedication to the monument, my efforts would have been in vain.
During this period, we have been fortunate to develop fantastic partnerships with a wide variety of cultural, fraternal, historic, military, and patriotic organizations throughout a community. With their efforts, we have been able to achieve great things. We look forward to achieving great things and am pleased to announce that our newest partnership is with the Cleveland Public Library, which will see the online hosting of the digitized copy of the index of the Ohio roster of the Warrior Rebellion, a reference source which up to this time has never been available via the internet. This is just a small sampling of the tremendous work that we have been able to accomplish under my tenure as Executive Director. Yet through it all, the one constant that has been with me every step of the way has been my friend and soulmate, Mary Louise. Without her support and encouragement throughout these many years, none of this would have been possible. So thank you, Mary and Louise, for sharing this journey with me, and I look forward to seeing where the next chapter of the journey goes. I would like to welcome Greg Palumbo as the monument's new executive director. Greg is an 18-year museum professional who will be taking over the reins here at the monument. A Cuyahoga County native, he is a graduate at the University of Cincinnati with a focus on American history. Over his career, he has been with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Seminole Tribe of Florida's Cultural Museum, the Children's Museum of Cleveland, and most recently has served seven years as the Executive Director of the Lakewood Historical Society. I look forward to his leadership here at the Monument. In closing, I thank you and our community for allowing me the opportunity to serve as a steward of this wonderful Victorian jewel that stands in the heart of Cleveland. I will cherish these memories for the rest of my life. Until we meet again, farewell.